I have an older tutorial that I created on how to create your own custom drum kits using the samples that come with Studio One from the kits in our presets here. So all of the samples are going to be included in the sound sets and we these files or these sound sets are locked so we can't access those individual files. But one thing that you could do that I showed originally um, and we'll take a really quick look at that for 15 seconds and then I'll show you the quicker way. What I showed in the original tutorial is that if we wanted some of these sounds from this to create a new kit, we could bring in a second impact, then come back to the original one, select the sound that you want, kick low at the bottom, we can see kick full is the actual name of the sample. We would then come over to our loops tab, click on the magnifying glass, and type in kick full. Just be sure that you're looking at the sample name here and not the pad. We can see it at the bottom if I double click to audition, clicking on the pad, we can hear that that is our sample. So then we could come to the second impact and then drag that to this one here. But this is an inefficient way to go about this. So I'm gonna close this out and actually we can close out the browser. Let's open up the first impact, click on the pin icon up in the top right hand corner. Let's click on the second impact and let's pin that one as well. So now we have access to both of these at the same time. And here you can see where I've already done this before the tutorial. I'm gonna clear that pad out. So we want this sound, just hold control, click hold and drag that over to your second impact. The kick top, we can hold control, click hold and drag that. Now, if you want other sounds from other kits, just come to the drop down menu, select that other kit. We can hold control, click hold and drag that over. Now, um, you may notice that there's no audio when I'm clicking on this other one here. So this is something that you do need to pay attention to. When I created this new impact, these pads are all set to stereo one, but when I drag a sample over, you see this is set to stereo six. So this is set to stereo six here. If I come up to the routing up at the top, the outputs, we can see stereo six is not active. Now, what I could do is make that active. And now we hear that, or we could change this to the stereo one. And uh, I'll come back to the outputs again, deselect this. And now that we've changed this to stereo one, we have the audio for that. So if you're dragging sounds over and you're not hearing anything, just be sure that you pay attention to the routing here and either, you know, you could even set this to stereo two and um, have that out on stereo two. So just be aware that if you're gonna click, hold and drag a sample over to the new impact, it is going to take the routing with it. So this is going out on channel five. If I hold control, if I hold control, click, hold and drag that over, then we can see this is gonna default to five and we don't have the sound because that is not set up here. Okay, so once you've chose all the sounds that you want from the different kits in your drop down menu, you could then come to the paper icon here and then store this as a preset, choose a name, description, or a subfolder if you'd like, and you should be all set. It should show up here in the drop down menu in the future.